Uh, hello everybody, this is Ali Bube, the creative artist from Omnitus HD, and it sure is good to be back, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? So today I am going to be teaching you, I believe this is not really common on YouTube, so I hope, I hope, I'm not saying we are, but I hope we are exclusive with this tutorial. But we have good chances to be anyways. Today I am going to be teaching you how to make the matrix effect on Photoshop. I mean the matrix effect similar to um wait if I can find the um where is it at? Yeah. Uh yep, this one. Some matrix effect similar to this one where you kind of have characters coming out of the famous I don't know what you call it famous matrix number sequence the one where the numbers fall down so the first things first this is a picture of Agent Smith if you haven't watched the movie Agent Smith is uh, the main guy the main character Neo's arch enemy and he is a computer program so this effect is really 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 kind of special with him because the computer because he's a computer program and he's coming out of code or numbers through with computers so that is very meaningful I guess so yeah so first things first um, we are gonna go and get the um, raw version uh, the I mean the matrix live wallpaper and this is available online I will put the link in the description to this and all the pictures I am using first of all in this tutorial as you guys can see I am um, I did not tell you how to cut Agent Smith and only have his head and body there because that is another three minute tutorial on its own and we do not have that time and it is available everywhere so yeah so first things first we're gonna put the matrix live wallpaper in the background and then we're gonna hide this we're gonna rasterize it first of course of course because when it's just a smart object it is a bit annoying so yeah then we're gonna go up to agent smith let's rename this to agent smith and we are going to um go i'm gonna go to image adjustments and desaturate And then after you desaturate Agent Smith, Agent Smith, you are going to go to Image, uh, Adjustments, and Levels. Or you can just press Control L on Windows or Command L on Mac. And with the Levels layer, it's really special to you. But the values I am going to use for Agent Smith, and with experimenting, I found these to be the best values. Uh, I'm going to use values of um, 20, 0 0.9, and 1 1.181. Basically, if you're going to do this effect with any other picture, what the value you are looking for is the value that makes the image seem darker than usual, with the shadows darker than usual, the highlights brighter than usual and the midtones remaining the midtones but they're very vivid and they're very distinguishable from the picture uh, uh, and uh, and yeah and then we are gonna go to blur, uh, filter blur gaussian blur and we're gonna go for agent smith the value the perfect value is will be around about Three. I'm gonna have a radius of three, three-ish. So yeah, this is so that when we apply the displacement map, which we'll be doing later, um, the um, the image is gonna come out to be rough. We want this to be as smooth as possible. So yeah, as you can see, the character is still quite distinguishable. Then we're gonna go to file, save as, and you're gonna save it to whatever. And I, and you should name it map or whatever I'm just gonna name it mappity 2 for the sake of it and then you're gonna you're gonna um, step backwards couple of steps until you get to the uh, desaturated version of the image 
Where is it? Yeah. So now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna duplicate the background layer by dragging it down to the new layer icon at the bottom. <clears throat> we'll just fix the position of Photoshop so that it actually works. Yeah. So now we're gonna go duplicate that. And then we're gonna go take it above Agent Smith. And now what we're gonna do is that we are gonna select we're gonna click command and we're gonna click on the agent smith thumbnail to select his outline and then we're gonna go select inverse and we're gonna click command or control x and then we are gonna make that layer sorry let's just step back a few steps we got an important step we're going to make this layer screen, first of all. And then, we're going to drag it to where the characters overlay. To where they create, to create this fuzzy illusion. Because this is what's going to make Agent Smith stand out of the background. And then we're going to click Command now. And or Control, and we're going to click on the Agent Smith thumbnail to select him. And then we're going to... Um, select inverse and we're gonna cut out the background and now what we're gonna do is that we are going to click commander control on windows and we're gonna select the bottom matrix live wallpaper and we're going to merge the layers and these layers are going to be placed above Aiden Smith now what we're going to do is we are going to go to filter and then we're gonna go to distort and we are going to click displace the horizontal scale here for Agent Smith should be 17 and the vertical scale should be 17 too basically for displacement map the higher the number the more the, the more the, sh the image will be pushed into where we made our shadows back when we made the map and to and the uh, and the more they will be taken out around the highlight. Uh, too low would have barely any effect and too high would have too much an effect to be believable. So for here the realistic value is 17. We're gonna click OK. Then we are gonna go and we're going to select the map that we made earlier on. And as you can see this will do the weirdest thing ever with the background. This doesn't make any sense now but it will when we click on the I uh, tab for Agent Smith and we are going to change this to overlay it looks a bit weird but you're seeing where this is going now aren't you guys now we're gonna go to image adjustments hue and saturation we're gonna click and note we have to select the Agent Smith layer first and then we're gonna go to image adjustments hue and saturation we're gonna click colorize Agent Smith turns red and then we're going to drag it towards a very subtle blue green color and now this is partially the effect but some people you might have enough with this you might think this is fair enough but to really push this what I think we should do is one last step is we're gonna get the polygon lasso tool and we are going to select Agent Smith's left shoulder like so and then we're gonna finish it off yeah then we're gonna select inverse again and then we are going to drag in a matrix style wallpaper there goes our selection place do what we did again because I totally forgot that the selection will go now so yeah, so select is this doesn't need to be the most accurate thing in the world you just need that left shoulder area and then we're gonna select inverse like we did before and we are going to rasterize this layer and we're gonna click command control x and we're gonna drag it to the top then we're gonna go to the opacity and drag it all the way down 
to where this is a very 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 light overlaying layer over the rest of the layers and that is it this is how you make a person in our case Adrian Smith pop out of the matrix background which what I would call the matrix effect and yeah thanks for watching please like and please leave any suggestions to how we can improve our tutorials and we promise you more tutorials in the future and sorry for the long wait I'm Ali Bobay, the creative artist from OmniTouch and you've been with one of yeah one of our new tutorials we have more coming